Hi, welcome to my video. In it I'm going to show you how you can use a smart DNS proxy service on your network at home um, to access sites that normally get blocked. Um, I'm going to take an example here. Uh, I'm in the UK at the moment. Um, I'm going to go to a site that you might know called um, ABC, which is uh, an American TV channel. Okay, and I'm going to go and try and watch something. Let's just see. If, oh, let's go and try and watch that. Something called Rising Star. Um, let's just click on here. Episode 4, which is one of the older episodes. And you can see we get this error coming up. Okay, this basically has um, looked at my IP address when I connected, worked out where I am. It's relatively easy to do that using um, databases that store all these records. And it sees I'm not in the United States, which I'm not. <coughs> and uh, it's, um, it's blocked us. Okay, so we can't look. It just basically says you need to be in the United States. Now, there's been traditionally loads of different ways that you can get around this searching on uh, proxies, VPNs, to bypass uh, these checks. The latest one, and probably the easiest, if you're not concerned about security, is, is a service called Smart DNS. There's a few providers now, um, and I'm going to show you one of the best and how it works and how easy it is to use. Um, I'm using a program called Smart DNS Proxy, and I'm going to show you now how you set it up on your computer. Um, Right, right. basically uh, you need to go into your network settings. Oops, sorry, I'll just minimize this so you can see it on the screen. And we're going to look at our network sharing. We're going to go to our local area connections. And I'm going to go properties. This is Windows 7, uh, maybe slightly different in different places. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to go into Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. And I'm going to click on properties. Now here is uh, listed all internal IP addresses. It's, it's not that uh, anything that uh, uh, you can see on the internet. These are the ones that just work inside my network. Okay, so here's my IP address. That's the one assigned by my router. Uh, my default gateway, that's my router. And I'm using my router's DNS now. Um, now, to enable this service, all I have to do is, um, if I've subscribed to the service and activated it, I have to then put the IP address of their their DNS server in here. Okay, so I'm basically using a smart DNS server instead of my normal DNS or, or my router, for example. Um, okay, so there, there there are two. I'll just do one for this uh, demonstration. <coughs> They've got them all across the world, so the the faster ones you pick the one that's nearest to you. So I'm going to go okay. Okay, okay, close. Now, you used to have to reboot your computer after you did this, but I don't think you need to anymore. Um, I might need to flush my DNS, but I'll try it anyway. I think it might work without. Right, we're going to go back to ABC. Um, nothing much has changed. Uh, I'm, I'm not using a, a VPN. I'm not using the proxy server. I'm not routing all my uh, internet connection through some other server. I'm ju it's just going to route the specific requests through this DNS server. So what did we watch? We tried to watch Rising Star. Um, and episode four, I think we tried to watch. And this is where we got the uh, error message coming up here. Um, but this time you can see I'm using Smart DNS Proxy, uh, it's, and it's playing perfectly. It's just buffering now, and then I can watch it full screen if I like. Oh, you can't see that. Um, and it'll play perfectly well. Um, the speed will be the same as your broadband connection. The DNS part only filters out specific parts of the request, basically just to hide your location. That's all it does. The rest it just streams as normally. Uh, and you can watch anything else um, as if you were in America. And it, it works with all the other American uh, IP addresses and stuff like that. Uh, and the great thing about this is you don't have to enable and disable the VPN depending on what country you're in. 
I can now go and watch BBC iPlayer uh, using the same the same setup, the same computer, if you like. And you uh, you probably know that um, uh, BBC is only available in um, uh, the UK. But here I'm. I've just been watching ABC there, and now I'm going to watch. Um, oh, they're not quite on here yet. Let's just watch one of the BBC iPlayer programs. Uh, there I am. Uh, and this is using exactly the same computer um, that I've just watched an American channel, and you can see BBC iPlayer works fine. It's smart DNS will pick in when it needs to. It'll just selectively um, forward and receive uh, the different messages as you go through. It's dead easy to use. You can just say, you, I've just enabled it on my um, computer. You could go and enable it on your router, change the DNS settings on your router, then it would affect every single device, PlayStations, um, Xboxes, Wii, Wii U's, um, anything you've got connected through your wireless network will have that same functionality. I've just done it on my PC there. Um, it's, if you check the link uh, that's been above here, this, the service is actually available for free for 14 days. Um, I don't know how long that's going to be available. I am apologize if that's run out by the time you've watched this video. But at the moment, it's free. Check it out, 14 days. You can see if it works. Uh, and then it costs a small subscription fee after that. But um, I think you'll probably find that um, once you've used it once, you won't want to let go of it. Okay, well, that's uh, me finishing on a Smart DNS Proxy uh, video. I hope that's uh, explained the concept. Goodbye and thank you.